to my $20,000 game room setup. As you guys can see, it's looking pretty sick. We got the PC in the back. We got some RGB lights. We got... Yes, and it is a green screen, guys. I'm not actually in my game room setup, but I do have an actual $20,000 game room setup upstairs. But before we get into that, let's walk down memory lane and kind of go through my old game room setups. I don't have clear pictures of all of them, but we're gonna go ahead and rate them from one to 10, and then we'll compare all these to my current one, which is pretty nice, I gotta say. All right, so here is my very first gaming setup ever. It's right here, as you can see. This was actually in my very first YouTube video ever. What's up guys, welcome to the kitchen where we cook up some gaming highlight videos and stream some video games. See, I actually had that old PC still, and it was literally just on a desk. It was just a monitor and just this one PC. That's literally all it was. It was so sad looking. Um, it kind of looked like this, actually. So I would say this gaming setup is honestly a one because it's literally like, just look at it. It's just like a, on a folding table, folding chair. Nothing really going on with it. Okay, next we have this gaming setup. I don't have another clear picture of this one as well because it's the same thing, but it's in a different room. I didn't have like a lot of money to spend on like a new desk. Nice keyboards, new monitors. I'm pretty sure the mic was found on Amazon for a used price. And then the arm mic, that's also was a, a pretty cheap arm mic on Amazon. I will say the gaming chair is a Secret Labs gaming chair. And that is a huge shout out to Carter for that one because he actually gifted me the gaming chair. I was just gaming in a folding chair. And so Carter was like, dude, you can't be gaming in that thing. Also, I was editing for Carter at the time. And so he was like, you gotta be more comfortable than this. But other than that, same setup as before, just a desk, PC, monitor, keyboard, mouse, and some headphones and that was literally it. Second game room setup, I would have to give it a rating of like a two and a half. It did bump up just because now I have a comfortable gaming chair, but aesthetically, it's still not there. And then let's move on to my third gaming room setup. It's looking a little bit better now. I have a dual monitor setup, as you guys can see. I have a little screen deck there. I have a little light. You see my Secret Labs chair. I brought that with me to this new apartment. So this one was an upgrade from my first two setups. This was getting somewhere, a little bit. So the rating I give the third gaming setup is probably like a four and a half. Not quite a five yet, just because looking at it, there really is nothing going on. No RGB lights, nothing. It's still pretty plain, but I will say it's looking a lot better than the first two. Now let's move on to the fourth gaming setup I had. The fourth one, this is where it kind of got a little bit better. We got the anime poster in the back, and then if you kind of zoom in on the Iron Man mask, it kind of has that mirror finish. So it has the two monitors set up, it still has that light, but again, this is far from perfect. Wow, just looking back at these, I would give this a five and a half. I'll give it one full point out just because it's starting to have some decorations. I'm excited to show you guys the actual $20,000 gaming room because it puts all of these to shame. I know what these all look like and and it is it's night and day. Now that leads us to today, which I have two gaming rooms in my house actually, and they were both built by Ryan himself. Huge shout out to Ryan because without him, I wouldn't have any of these gaming rooms. So let's move on to the fifth gaming room, which looks like this, which is pretty clean. Let's go ahead and let's show you guys what it looks like. So the first gaming room is at the end of this hallway right here. And let me tell you guys, this is definitely a huge... Uh, it's nice, right? It is very nice. Why are you in here? I was gonna game in here, actually. Did someone just build you <laughs> a gaming room upstairs for this exact purpose? No, I, I don't think so. Is there another game room here? Don't do this to me. <laughs> no, it's looking good, guys. Look at this. We got a switch here. We All got PS5. Down. I gotta fix that at some point, but that's fine. It does get really hot in here, and so it just melts. But yeah, I've got a three monitor set up here. These look familiar a little bit. We've got a toolbox, lights. Little squiggly lines. So guys, I would rate this probably like seven and a half or eight. I'm just gonna give it a six and a half. I didn't make any real cosmetic changes to the room. This was my practice run for the actual gaming room that's upstairs. Before we go up to the game room, you can see the blue light already glowing up there. This is what it looked like before. It is messy, it is dirty. 
There's a lot more work that could have been done to this game room. This is the moment all you guys have been waiting for. I'm honestly a little nervous to show you guys, but here it is. The $20,000 game room setup. Huge shout out to Ryan, MSI, and Intel for all this stuff because without them, I don't want to, I'm nervous. All right, here it goes, guys. <laughs> So there's a lot to unpack here. There's a lot of cool stuff in this room now. Before we get into the actual gaming setup, let's go around the room because everything else is still pretty expensive. All right, starting off with the piano. The piano itself was about $250. Everything else on top of here comes to about like $150. So we're already at around $400. Add that to the total. So moving from the piano section to the TV entertainment system, we got a PS5 right here, which is probably about $400. And then behind here, actually, some Gobi lights and then an Apple TV that just fell off. And then a TV itself is like five, $600. Oh no, it lost power. So I would say we're at about, total wise, just in this section, we're at $1,400 plus $400, $1,800 so far. And we're not even at the most expensive part. So we're moving on from a TV to the Hexalite by Govee. The whole thing is $150. And that lamp is about 80 bucks. So just these two is about 250 if you round up. These boys, he was a couple hundred dollars at least. This one was a gift. So we'll just price it at like 300 maybe. And then of course we got the 1 million play button. This one is priceless. That will cherish forever. Huge shout out to all you guys. Appreciate you guys. All right, moving on. Now let me show you guys the couch corner and how this whole corner works. So I'm sitting right here. TV's onto the side, so I would have to like turn my head. And boom. Just like that, we are now angled. We are way far out the wall now. When we sit down, ugh, it is in a perfect position. Boom, boom. Easy. So this couch, $1,200. We still got a lot more to go. Let's do it. Over here, we have a mirror, which is pretty cool looking. This is about 80 bucks. Add that to the total, guys. And then moving from there, we got Stokes Kitchen right there. Ooh, look at that. And then we got a basketball rim with some Gobi lights. The light itself is about 60 bucks. The rim, I would say maybe, let's say 50 bucks. So let's say $100 right here just for the rim and light. It is really cool. It is supposed to be more like an abstract concept basketball net. And then down here, we just got a whole bunch of snacks. I would say there's another like, let's say $100. So 200 for this section right here. Moving on, we got this sick white basketball. I don't know where they found this, but this is, I like it. It's a nice touch. And then we got the mini fridge. I would say total, this is probably like, let's say 200 bucks right here. And then we got my hall of fame right here. So this is probably one of my favorite parts of the whole gaming room right here. Um, each of these glass cases is 60 bucks and each light is an extra $60. So there are six of them. If you multiply 12 by 60, then we get about $720. That doesn't include the prices of each of these jerseys that's inside right now. And so we're at about $1,500. We got Messi, Pay Manning, Rajon Rondo. Of course, we got McGrady, Andrew Luck, and of course, the one and only, a Michael Jordan jersey. This is the 1991 Michael Jordan jersey. The first year that he won his first championship and that's the year I was born. 1991 is also the year of the GOAT. So I had to get that jersey. I will show you guys my favorite part out of the whole room. Even more so than the whole PC setup. Again, huge shout out to Ryan for even thinking about this. This is like a personal touch that I really do appreciate. Here it is, guys. This is the anime wall. Like, how cool is this? So first off, we got the Straw Hats logo right here. But each little poster card is a different anime. So this is like Garu from One Punch Man. You know, we got Demon Slayer up in here. We got Gohan. I love everything about the game room, but this part, it hits close to home for me on this one. It's very personal and I really do appreciate the thoughtfulness of this whole section. This light itself, probably like $100. I'll sell all the posters, 50 bucks. So let's say 150 bucks for this whole section. It's not the most expensive part, but it's definitely my favorite part. Now we are moving on to the meat of it. So let's start off with the camera. The camera is a Sony A6400. I got this a while ago. 
with the lens, I would say this is about $1,500. This monitor was about $350, and I know each of these is about $400. And the keyboard right here, this is about $100. Bucks. Mouse, $150. This is the G502 wireless. This is the Steel Series, the Nova Pros, I believe. So this is my old mixer. This is what I would be using. It broke for some reason. And this itself is like $400. So I got a replacement. This is 50 bucks if you guys. And then back here, we have some more Gobi lights, which is about $75, I think. If you guys didn't know, Ryan hooked me up with a brand new PC with a 4070 Ti. And I'm pretty sure it's an i7 processor, 64 gigabytes of RAM, $3,000. And Ryan was so nice to leave a space for my old PC. So this old PC was all also close to like $2,500. Okay, so panels, I asked Ryan, he bought about like $600 worth of panels. Okay, moving on, we got the stove's kitchen sign also brought to you by Ryan. This was a birthday gift from him and this was like close to $200. And then we have a Samsung TV right here. This is my dedicated anime TV. I always like something going on while I'm gaming. This. TV is probably like 400 bucks, plus there's another Apple TV behind here. And then lights is another 150. We have this wall divider and Ryan actually put it here because when I'm streaming, the camera is facing that way and I have a nice little backdrop. And if I wanted to, I can literally just close this up a little bit and then it just opens up. And then down here, we got Harman Kardon speakers, which is about another $200. Oh, and I forgot about the desk. The desk itself is $350. So I have this chair right here. This is a Herman Miller chair. And this thing retails for $1,700. And that's before tax. So this is almost a $2,000 gaming chair. This gaming chair, now that I realize, is almost as much as the PCs which is wild. The Secret Labs chair, which is, they're cool, but they're not the most comfortable chair. And when I sit there for more than like an hour, my butt, my hip, it just starts hurting like crazy. With this, I can sit in the chair for hours, no problems at all. And the last thing we're gonna add to the cost is all the labor and electricians and other people that Ryan had to hire to make this room happen. $2,000. Also on top of the labor costs, there's a lot of little things that adds up that I didn't include. All that totaled to about another $2,000, such as the arm for my camera or the arm for my mic, and then all the cabling and all the adapters and whatnot. So here's the whole price breakdown. Here's the total cost right here. It's a lot of money in this room right now. It's so cool and the transformation is insane. For this whole transformation, I would be in this room 24 seven almost. So now I'm gonna be here 25-7. Okay, I'm gonna be here all day, every day. Guys, comment down below what you guys think of this gaming room compared to all my old ones. So, now that everything's all set up and ready to go, come join me on the Twitch at twitch.tv slash stoves underscore kitchen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm about to start gaming. I'm in the gaming room. Until next time, peace!